Welcome back to Get Kruger. My name is Mitch Kruger, and you know what time it is. It's time for Kruger Reviews! Alrighty, so I apologize. I have been so careless and under stress because I have been falling behind with my Kruger's reviews, and I am here today to do last week's review, and I haven't even seen this week's movie. I apologize profusely because I know that you guys like to see me talk about the things I like to talk about. Anyway, last week, Coog's Reviews had a pretty big week, and in the end, I'm just going to skip over it, the movie that came out on top was The Mule, starring Clint Eastwood, and I did go and see it with my nana, and we both thought it was great. And again, I apologise it's taking me this long to do the review for you, but anyway, let's get into it. I kind of decided to go for a grandpa -y, like casual look in honor of the mule and Clint Eastwood because the first thing my Nana said when we watched the movie was gosh he's getting old and I couldn't agree more but the look was everything in terms of his character because the mule is about how an old grandfather decides to become a drug mule and you know move drugs for oh I forgot what the for drug lords basically and you know make money because you know he needs money for certain things and then needs more and then needs more and then it just becomes a habit and I think that the movie was fantastic you know it really showcased how you can fall into such a typical gig for the sake of money and for someone who's old and retired you don't he didn't really have much on in his life but felt he needed to give back and it was really interesting. I actually thought the movie was quite intriguing to watch because it had his story plus his family plus the cops trying to you know bust these drug laws and how they're moving it was I think it was cocaine and you know trying to bust drug mules and stuff like that and I thought it was really good and then it had some other twists and turns and whatnot so I found it really engaging and really interesting and so did my Nana we both agreed that it was really really good now just a quick side note obviously my Nana was the winner of our competition last time and that's why she came to see the movie with me but she's a little bashful so she w won't be joining me in this review of course now the other thing is keep an eye out for my next competition because now that that one is complete I move on to my next one we all know that Anyway, back to the movie. No, it was really, really interesting. I thought, I, I was engaged the whole time. You know, it was really slow paced and you know, you kind of just watched his journey and it wasn't like over the top, exuberant, anything like that, but I wanted to know what was happening because you just didn't know what was gonna happen in the end because he, he got in deeper and deeper and deeper and then, you know, things started getting a little crazy and yeah, it was really good. Um, the only downfall for me, and I am going to warn you guys without spoiling it, the ending was just so, so. It felt appropriate, but also unexpected, and I don't want to say it was a letdown because the movie was really good, but I almost just was underwhelmed. Yeah, it's really hard to describe, but I'm going to say go and see this movie because it really was quite the watch, and I think it was really worth the time but again the ending fizzled out it just fizzled out for me because I was expecting something bigger to happen than what actually did but at the same time it didn't feel wrong yeah does that make sense? I don't know anyway I'll wrap that up there I am going to give the mule four stars four stars because like I said it really was a good movie and just the fact that the ending was a bit didn't make doesn't make it any less than four stars but um to the point where it wasn't so engaging the ending i have to i can't give it like five stars or anything like that. so four stars for the mule starring clint eastwood and diane beast and bradley cooper and Lawrence fishburne the list goes on <sighs> don't forget to subscribe to all of my social medias get coogan on facebook mitch cougar one word for my snapchat and coogs reviews with z's for my instagram Alrighty, you guys have a good weekend. See ya. Bleh, 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 bleh. <laughs> it's time for Coog's Reviews!